in this circuit diagram this RHT12E encoder IC which has 18 pins. Pin number 1 starts from here. These are address pin from pin number 1 to pin number 8. Later I will explain what is the purpose of these address pins. Pin number 9 is the ground pin that is connected to ground. Here pin number 18 is the VCC pin of encoder IC and is connected to the VCC pin of transmitter module. Pin number 17 is the data pin through this pin the data is sent to transmitter. And transmitter then send data to receiver circuit to perform action. Pin number 15 and 16 are the oscillator pins. Here we use the resistor to match the frequency with the receiver circuit. Pins from 10 to 13 are the input pins. Here we use the push button to on off the relevant LED at the receiver circuit. Pin number 14 is used to on and off the transmitter circuit. This is our transmitter module it has 3 pins. Pin number 1 is connected to ground. Pin number 2 is the data pin that is coming from pin number 17. Pin number 3 is the VCC pin here we give 5 to 9 volts DC. The antenna must be used. Normally 6 inches of wire at both transmitter and receiver module. This is our receiver circuit in which. This is the HT12D decoder IC it has also 18 pins this is pin number 9. It is connected to ground. These pins are output pins and that are from pin number 10 to pin number 13. Here the pin number 14 is the data pin. To which the data is fed from receiver module. Pin number 15 and pin number 16 are the oscillator pins. Here we also use a resistor. For matching the frequency. Pin number 17 is the indicating pin. Here we use LED. That blinks whenever the push button is pressed from transmitter part. This is our receiver module it has 4 pins. Pin 1 is connected to ground. Pin number 2 and 3 are the data pins. And pin 4 is the VCC pin. To which DC power of 9 volts is applied. Now let me tell you what is the purpose of address pins. There are many transmitter and receiver are around us. So there is the possibility that the frequency of our module perhaps match with another module. So for this reason, we use the dip switches here. In dip switches, for example, we open two switches and close three switches at the transmitter part. For uniqueness, and same thing we do at the receiver part. So that's why our module's frequency would not be match with any other transmitter module. This is the 8-pin receiver module. There is no difference between 4-pin module and 8-pin module. We just connect the VCC pin to VCC pin like this. And ground pin to ground pin. And same like this. The data pin to data pin. Actually both are same so don't worry about that. Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe our channel for more electronics projects videos.